and welcome to this week's episode of Digital Marketing Today. I'm Mark Neese with Sync Lab Media. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Digital Marketing Today. We have kind of a unique show today. I do not have a guest to interview on today's program. But we are going to be talking about video-centric digital marketing for shared workspace business leaders and owners franchisees. So Sync Lab Media has been in a unique position. We've actually been immersed in the co-working or shared office work environment for almost six years now. And we've been helping these types of businesses uh, figure out really how to differentiate themselves in the digital marketplace and in the ever-crowded uh, industry of co-working or shared office space. So we're going to be talking about some of the unique challenges today that business leaders who office in these types of environments uh, face and also how that translates into opportunities for those uh, owners, operators, uh, and or franchisees uh, within the shared workspace industry. Just to give you a little bit of background um, on myself uh, and Sync Lab Media, um, I've spent uh, almost 30 years now kind of dating myself a little bit, but in the media production industry, uh, that has given us a very, very sound uh, foundation upon which to build our video-centric digital marketing uh, practice really that that we operate today. Our core competency is obviously video production, creating video marketing content, um, but that's wrapped around our three pillars of strategy, production, support. Really providing the strategy based on a particular business or organization's goals and objectives, and then helping them figure out what type of content, what audience, uh, and how to create that content that is really going to engage uh, their target audience, and how that content can then be optimized and supported in a way um, that will get them the results that they're looking for and help them reach their objectives. So that's kind of the basis that we're coming from. And because we've helped so many clients uh, do this and help them through this process, uh, we've recognized some commonality or some tendencies. And those tendencies are even more apparent when you're operating within this kind of shared workspace environment. A lot of businesses, I know that here at VentureX by the Galleria where, where we office right now, um, there tends to be uh, a mixture of startups but also established businesses that just want the convenience of a shared workspace but they're a little bit more established, you know, like us. We've been in business as Sync Lab Media for, you know, going on six years now. Um, so the VentureX community is a little bit different than some of these other shared workspace environments because there are a number of businesses here that are a little bit more established and, and have a little bit of uh, um, a uh, trend uh, behind them of success. But there are still three uh, areas that are key challenges uh, for business leaders uh, who typically are in this type of shared workspace environment. And that is they have limited access to strategy, production, and support. And particularly speaking around the digital marketing space and video marketing space. Um, so a lot of these businesses they or business leaders, they know that they need to be incorporating video marketing uh, into their marketing practices. Um, but a lot of them really lack a 
detailed strategy on how to do that and and not just a strategy of how to do it but the strategy behind how that's really going to support their unique business objectives and where they're at in their business life cycle and also around that strategy piece is how to work that strategy into their budget or how to manage their operations in such a way where they are creating uh, the budget to be able to implement a strategy that's really going to be effective for them instead of just going from one tactic to another tactic really following a plan that's based on that sound strategy. The second unique challenge is the production. Let's face it, there's most people uh, do not have the technical capability in-house or the resources uh, as far as professional video and audio recording equipment and technical expertise of someone on staff uh, that can consistently produce high quality content for them. Uh, so most of the time this is an outsourced uh, capacity, if you will, for producing content. And that in itself presents a very unique challenge. So it's one of the things that we try to help our clients overcome with the uh, particular solutions that we provide. And we'll get into that uh, in uh, a little bit further on uh, into this broadcast. The third challenge uh, for these business leaders is the support. So you know, we've had uh, many times where people have come to us and said, uh, okay, so-and-so told me I needed a video. I went to a conference. They were talking about video content. I know that we need to produce video. How much will it cost for you to produce a video for us? And instead of just taking that job on and producing a video and handing it off and saying good luck and, and sending them on down the road, it's really important for someone to have the support features in mind of how they're going to support the, that particular piece or series of content. Um, where is it going to go? Do you have the inf infrastructure in place? How is it going to be promoted? How is it going to be integrated into your other marketing efforts? How is it going to be uh, repurposed? Uh, remarketed and supported in all other levels of your of your marketing strategy um, and that's a lot to take on and it can be uh, again quite a challenge uh, for these business leaders so the interesting thing is that in a shared workspace environment these unique challenges that business leaders are facing are actually key opportunities for the owner operator and or franchisee of a shared workspace to be able to take advantage of and really differentiate their brand uh, within this industry. So these key opportunities for owners and franchisees are to develop a unique marketing position uh, within the industry, really develop those key differentiators by uh, providing something that can be a solution for these challenges that business leaders are facing. Um, the other uh, unique opportunity is adding just tremendous member value by having resources available for them that really meet this uh, challenge, these challenges that they're facing. And as a win-win-win situation, it's also a very unique opportunity to create uh, what could be very significant additional revenue um, that is above and beyond what a shared workspace owner franchisee can actually make off of just the square footage of the space that they're leasing. So it really turns into a very dynamic situation that is kind of starts to sustain itself and really create a unique uh, environment in which these business leaders can thrive and grow their business and where the owner franchisee of the shared workspace can be even more successful and bring even more value uh, to their members. Uh, we've created a very unique solution 
that not only meets the challenges of these business leaders, but also facilitates the opportunity on the other side for the business owner um, and fran or franchisee of a shared workspace. And we're going to get a, into a little bit more detail about that uh, right after we take a short break. And as always on Digital Marketing Today, we like to recognize a local artist and a particular piece of artwork by that artist. You'll see behind me on the wall is a, a very nice piece of artwork uh, by the artist C.J. Cowden. She's a local uh, Dallas artist. Uh, the name of this particular painting is called Parallel, and uh, we're very fortunate to have her represented by David Call of David Call Designs, a good friend and collaborator of ours, uh, who has actually uh, curated an entire collection of artwork by three different artists here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria. So one of the things that we would like to mention this week also is that in celebration of that we have a very unique event coming up on July 18th. Uh, we're hosting a uh, open house and show uh, with an artist reception here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria. So please make sure you go uh, and uh, check that out. Uh, you can reserve on Eventbrite. Uh, it's going to be on July 18th. Uh, 10 to 4 will be an open house uh, here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria where you can walk around and view the artwork with a catalog and uh, also see the space here at VentureX. And then from 5 to 8 p.m. will be an artist reception with three different artists all here and available to meet and talk to them about their artwork, uh, food and drink, just a chance to socialize and enjoy some fine art from local Dallas artists. So we hope you'll join us on July 18th for that. And now we're going to take a short break for today's sponsor, and we'll be right back on Digital Marketing Today. to Digital Marketing Today. Again, I'm Mark Neese with Sync Lab Media. So before the break, we were discussing some unique challenges that business leaders face when working from a shared workspace environment and also how that creates some opportunity for owners and franchisees of shared workspace environments. Um, the solution that we have come up with at Sync Lab Media is a shared workspace media center. And we're actually inside of one right now. This is our prototype here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria, a video podcasting uh, and live streaming video studio that we've created here. And so this is kind of the model uh, that, that we have uh, created. And the main reason why is because of how important video marketing is in today's digital marketplace. So let's take a moment just to look at some of the latest stats about video content marketing. So there's already about 80% of online audiences that are watching Facebook Live videos just like this one. Most executives watch videos on business websites at least weekly. That stat is probably even greater now. Of the people that are watching Facebook Live videos on a regular basis, almost all of them think that quality is the most important aspect. Not only the quality of the content being provided, but the quality of the video and audio of those Facebook Lives. Um, 
you know, who, who wants to sit around and watch somebody with a set of headphones on talking into a, mi a microphone that covers half of their face, right? So that's why uh, we've created this other solution. And most people prefer to watch a live video or a recorded video even than reading text in a blog or an article or on a website. So incorporating video content into your marketing is critical in today's digital marketplace. Businesses and organizations that are not doing so right now are already losing ground to those who are. So now that we've accepted those stats that we've just seen about how important video marketing is, now the question is how do these business leaders overcome the obstacles to actually incorporating video marketing into their existing marketing strategies and budgets? Well, one of the things that we've done at Sync Lab Media is we've developed an entire process around this and it's called the nine steps to digital marketing success. And these nine steps are based around our pillars of strategy, production, and support, which also happens to be the key challenges of these business owners. So let's take a look just very briefly at these nine steps of this process called the Nine Steps to Digital Marketing Success. And if you want to go and download the full white paper, which will include much more detail, you can just go to our website, SyncLabMedia.com forward slash the number nine step digital. Um, and the white paper is there. You can read it. You can download it uh, and read it anytime you like. Um, but basically, these are the steps. So in the strategy piece, you have to know yourself first, know what your objectives are, okay, uh, and really know what your key business drivers are. You have to know your audience. That's another key point. Um, you know, it sounds cliche, but honestly, a lot of people overlook that. You really have to identify not only who your existing, uh, the, the, what I call the psychographic of your existing clients, but who are those ideal clients that you're not getting right now that you want to? Who, who is that audience that you really need to reach? And that audience can vary based on the products and services that you're offering. So you, know, you need to do a little bit of homework, a little bit of research, and really identify key aspects of that audience. And know your outcome. What are, what are your objectives? You know, how are you going to know when you've reached your objectives, right? Um, if you don't kind of know where you want to get to. So in the production piece of it, the three steps are to be attractive, okay? You have to have a message that is going to actually engage and attract, uh, attract people. Um, that's all part of the, of the content planning, and, you know, you can't do that unless you know your audience. You have to be visual, and this is really where the video marketing piece comes into it. Then you have to be visible. Once you have the content produced, you've got to be able to put it out there where it's visible to where on those platforms uh, where your target audience is, and you have to promote it. On the support side, you really have to consolidate all your marketing efforts together and use all of them. We call this merge and maximize, to really use all of them to promote each other, uh, remarketing, retargeting, repurposing content across all platforms, making every, sure everything is linked together. And then uh, you have to manage this content, right? You have to manage the process, uh, have to have somebody actually there. If you're not listening and responding when you, find, when you actually engage people, then they're not going to stay engaged very long. And finally, you have to measure your success because then you don't know whether uh, what you're doing is actually working or not without those metrics and those measurement tools. So now that we've discussed the process uh, for meeting these business challenges that these leaders have in the shared workspace environment, um, let's talk a little bit about the opportunity that this shared workspace media center concept offers for the business owner and franchisee. 
First of all, we talked about market position before. Um, by having such a solution within a shared workspace environment, this creates a unique market position of thought leadership using advanced technology and really creates a competitive advantage uh, for the owner, franchisee, uh, who decides to incorporate this solution. Um, and that's because of the value that this solution brings to the membership. Uh, it sets the owner up as the person who's providing an in-house solution for all of these challenges for these business leaders. Um, it's definitely an upscale amenity that can be marketed uh, as a key advantage, key differentiator. Um, and the model that we've developed is a fully equipped studio. So a business leader doesn't have to figure out what type of equipment to buy, where to go get it, to spend all that money, then how to set it up and how to use it, and then the you know figuring out the software. It takes that entire learning curve and that entire upfront expense uh, away from the business leader and is just an, an incredible, incredible value uh, for those members. Um, and then, as we talked about before, as a win-win-win, uh, it actually creates an additional revenue stream uh, for the business owner. Um, you can upgrade uh, memberships uh, to include use of the media center. Um, you can, uh, we'll talk about the monthly subscription piece of it in just a second. Uh, but it also is a, you can make it available for non-members on a rental basis to generate additional revenue. And the model that we've developed actually shows that the revenue can be much greater than just the rent on the square footage that it takes uh, to put one of these shared workspace media centers into a business. So those are the key uh, opportunity areas that we discussed before on this subscription side, we've also actually built a model out uh, for a video podcast subscriptions on a monthly basis where a business leader or organization can come in on either a weekly, a bi-weekly, or a monthly basis uh, and have a show like this completely produced for them so they have a finished piece of content every time they come in for an hour they walk away with a 20 to 30 minute completely produced piece of marketing content for their business that establishes them as a thought leader builds trust authority credibility in their brand and is content that as we talked about before with the stats is engaging easily shareable and that, audi that audiences that are already online and viewers are already looking for and wanting to find online and to view. So that in a nutshell is the show for today. If you would like more information on video podcasting subscriptions or the shared workspace media center solution that we've talked about, please reach out. You can get in touch with me directly on LinkedIn at Mark Neese. Uh, you can also reach out to us on Sync Lab Media on our website, SyncLabMedia.com. Again, if you put the forward slash 9-step digital on that, you can get the free download of the 9 Steps to Digital Marketing Success white paper. Um, you can, so we have a contact page, obviously, on our website where you can reach out to us and get more information. Please consider following us on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, whatever your uh, favorite social media platform is, we're probably on there at SyncLab Media. So please make sure to connect with us. And thanks for joining us today. Joining us next week on Digital Marketing Today, we have Lila Smith that's going to come on the show and be our guest of Say Things Better. Um, she's a great communicator. We're going to be talking about communication and messaging uh, from a brand perspective. So thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next week on Digital Marketing Today.